boys and girls. Today, we're going to try something a little bit different. It's been a while since I've uh, played Airsoft, but uh, why not, you know, get back into it. So, basically, we're going to be starting with the new weapon, M4. Uh, this is by Valken. It's, uh, it's okay, you know, it's not a blowback or anything. Single point sling. Um, I got this little uh, hollow sight on top. Which is pretty good. Uh, also use um, laser pointer uh, sometimes. And uh, what else? Uh, yeah. So also going to be using this um, cheapo 1911 clone, which is just a CO2 pistol. I'm going to get a better pistol because this is not bad. It's reliable. It's just like I, I like the the gas blowback ones, which I do have another one. The only problem is it leaks a little bit. So. Uh, yeah, but other than that, this thing is uh, going to be fine for right now. Alright, so we're getting ready for our first match. Well, this is not really the first match. Um, but basically, there wasn't a lot of people playing right now, so it's just me and this kid, uh, 2v2. Uh, the ref and another uh, guy on the other side so basically he's gonna cover the right I'm going left and hopefully turns out pretty well now basically what I've been trying to do is I, I'm still a beginner and let's, <laughs> let's get this straight right out of the box uh, I'm still a beginner um, with my M4 setup I have the laser and usually what I'll try to do is shoot offhand left side with the laser and right side using my holographic just because it, it's it's a little bit easier for me so now I know the ref <laughs> which I'm pretty sure uh, was the ref uh, they decided to split up and come out down this little alleyway here so one thing I definitely have to get better at is Pretty much any time I'm moving to cover, I should drop a knee, which I haven't been doing, obviously. But I'm coming for, I'm coming for you. Feel lucky, like punk. I also tend to peek out a little bit too much. I am pretty sure he's right in that corner, just because I'm always in that corner. Um, so yeah, right now I'm shooting offhand, so I'm going to use the laser. I'm going to try to set up the video cam right now. I'm using the, the helmet mounted cam uh, with this 720p crappy camera that does not have like a full fisheye kind of view or super view, because um, it's not a GoPro. <laughs> but it's not terribly bad, and as um, actually the uh, darkness on this map is about realistic. It's pretty dark in here, um, so it does make finding targets pretty difficult. Now the kid has a flashlight, which I might be using, but I'm not going to put it on the primary on the M4. I'm going to leave that. Get some, bitch. I happened to see that dude out of the corner of my eye. Just because he popped up. I know he's right behind there, too. And I could swear I got him right there, but... This rifle is not the most <laughs> accurate thing. I haven't really tuned it or, it or anything. Um, I used to have a whole bunch of different airsoft rifles, but... Uh, this is the Valken Battle Machine. I don't even know which mod series it is. I think it's like Mod L. Uh, and it's completely stock. And just just right there, the kid actually friendly fired me. He's got the, the flashlight. So, uh, there is friend, friendly fire on this map. I mean, really, I didn't have to call it, but I did. So, whatever. Respawn time! So, anyways. I'm pretty sure that uh, whoever's in that corner hasn't really moved. 
I don't know. He, he's just camping, just waiting for me to come out. This 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 whole match was a very kind of cat and mouse type of thing. Everybody, I guess, it's because there's two v two. Neither side was particularly ag aggressive. Um, although their guy did kind of run up on us a couple times, but every time he did, I shot. <laughs> nah, nah, he got in the tower, so he tried to flank us, just not very well. I just saw him run past. Try to get to, into the tower again. Yeah. So well, I'm definitely, I think next time I'm gonna use uh, a flashlight differently on the pistol. Except I want to get a strobing flashlight. Something that, you know, it's gonna do that disco ball effect, <laughs> just so to disorient people. Now, supposedly we can use grenades and stuff like that. I don't. There was one one match that we did go, and somebody did use a smoke grenade, which was pretty cool. But they're just kind of like overkill. Of course, for this type of match, you know, <laughs> you're not gonna use anything like that's only two people. All right, so now that the warm-up was done, this is the larger <laughs> battle, uh, proper battle, and uh, we had a couple pros in here. Now the local airsoft, I don't know, God Squad is uh, whatever, Northeast PA something, Wolf <laughs> something, I don't know, <laughs> something, uh, but we had a couple of these guys here, so... Uh, we really got our asses kicked. So I guess I should talk a little bit about my gear. Uh, I'm wearing a regular uh, surplus chest rig. I don't even know what type it is. It's basically got what, four mag slots. And the rest are just pouches that you need. Uh, it's mesh, and I'll do I'll do probably a review on all this stuff separately going forward. Um, that and I got a drop leg holster, and in this match I think I was using my gas blowback 1911, which is good for about two mags, um, but it is double stack, so it's got some volume. Now we're on the red side, so. And these guys are a bit more pro, so yeah, I had to pretty much go in that same corner where that guy was uh, in the previous match. And unfortunately, I'm using my hat mounted, my baseball cap mounted uh, thing for the GoPro, and it's kind of not good for leaning around corners because you don't get everything. But I did get that guy. <laughs> Which is pretty good. So I'm taking a lot of fire, and I was basically trying to shoot into their spawn, which is right there. <laughs> which is directly ahead of us. That's basically where we spawned before on the blue side. So. So I moved up a little bit, taking that my teammate's position. Um, I'm pretty sure that, you know, at this point, that everybody was pretty much on the side with the tower, and that there's a car back there, and a, like a little house. It's pretty divided. Yeah, and then we're all pretty much running back and forth. But from this position, I pretty much can shoot into that house, and into the tower. Problem is though, of course my left side is exposed. That's completely my teammates, so I'm kind of trusting them. 
Now, I'm new at this field, so I don't really <laughs> know everybody here or how how they play. I mean, I know some of the, uh, whatever, the wolf pack <laughs> that play all the freaking airsoft fields. You know, they're, whatever, they're pro-level and stuff like that. Got radios and all sorts of crap. He wasn't even trying. Maybe just trying to get my attention. And I'm hit. Oh, God. But I basically have to really learn some infantry tactics, man. I am not good. So, we respond, and we're going back for more. Now, I don't know why I went back into the same freaking corner. But it is, it is a pretty good vantage point. Right here I was using my 1911 uh, gas blow back, which is why it sounds a little bit different. Unfortunately it didn't show up on the camera because I was using my hat mount. Uh, this was, actually this was before I got my helmet. Problem with the helmet, it's good protection and whatnot. I didn't get shot in the face. <laughs> but uh, uh, the problem with the helmet though is it causes my goggles to steam up a little bit more. So I have to do something about that. Because it was like 90% humidity in here, uh, so I was sweating freaking sweaty ball syndrome. And also, the guy that has the flashlight in this on his rifle, that's not the same kid. This is one of the uh, wolf pack dudes. And he is a freaking badass. And I did manage to get him. That is one of the things that I like about the uh, gas blowback pistol, the 1911. Even with its leaky freaking CO2, <laughs> it is very accurate. Way more than the M4, but then again, the M4 isn't tuned. What I'd like to do is, instead of the AEG that I'm using, I want to get a high power air, or at least a gas uh, M4. Uh, just because... They're a little bit more accurate, you know. The Vulcan is, eh, it's kind of basic. It's not terrible. It's fine for this field. But if I want to play on an outdoor field, I'm not going to be able to really use the wimpy Vulcan. I think the Vulcan is, it's just like just under 350, which this is an indoor field, so everything has to be 350 FPS or less. But that really depends on the ref. <laughs> Of course. Uh, same thing with full auto. The only thing that sucks um, is, of course, I didn't have a spare mag for my pistol, which that was another no-no, but I didn't have a spare mag. I wasn't really planning on using it that much, but <laughs> it is pretty good. So I'll have to get a spare mag. So I have to switch back to my primary. Which sucks because <laughs> this thing is it's not bad. It's just uh it's not as accurate. See the problem is right now is that we're completely bunched up on that side and there's nobody over here. So that's why I switched to this position. Uh since there was nobody watching our left flank, as is usual. I got a couple kills and everybody wants to bunch up. I hate this left side because right down that alleyway is their tower. So if you stick your head out, you're going to get shot. Also on the left, far left side is that little house, that entryway. Uh, which in order to get in there uh, is like kind of a no-go. What I should have done here is, is gone through the center house and fired into that doorway but like nobody was backing me up here too <laughs> so I was just basically trying to keep them from flanking us which didn't work everybody's popping their head out and this is why you need grenades not that we really could have used them in this match but anyways
Yeah, he shot me right in the freaking face. Right in between. He shot me right in between where the face mask, the bottom of the face mask, and my goggles. <laughs> like, there's a little tiny gap, and he got that BB right in there. I have no idea how he did that. Anyways. So anyways, this pretty much concluded the match. Only 10 seconds left. And we did actually win. I was kind of surprised. But we did win by like one kill. So, you know, for getting back into the sport, um, it's not that bad. Uh, I'm going to definitely make some more videos. Uh, if you guys have anything you specifically want to see, um, it's I'm gonna be at this field for a while, probably, and probably trying out some new, you know, camera setups, some new gear setups, uh, along with different weapons. I don't know what I'm gonna use. Um, I do have a sniper on order, along with a uh, Mac 10 uh, that I'm gonna try to use because I wanted an SMG type, uh, just because of these really tight spaces. Uh, so hopefully we'll get that in the future and uh like share subscribe and hopefully we can grow together in this airsoft war <laughs> i shall see you in the next video peace